Hello friends and family. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. This is Friday the 11th. Friday afternoon. About 4 o'clock or so. This weekend, well this afternoon, I'm going to mow. Regular mowing on the Husqvarna and the Craftsman push mower. Do some weed eating. Get that stuff done. I've been playing on the tractor the last couple weekends and neglected this. So I got to get all this mowed. And then tomorrow, if it doesn't rain too much, depending on the rain, this weekend I would like to get back behind the cabin where we started clearing and get that cleaned up and get back to clearing on that now that I have the tractor to help move stuff and cut stuff. Uh, see if we can't get that all cleaned up. Because i got to get it ready for the electric next month. So, <laughs> you know, I can't be putting it off any longer. But, yeah, I'm just going to spend the day riding around, uh, getting things cut, getting things cleaned up. Before I do that, I do have a segment for you. The latest in homestead fashion. Our model Joe is going to be showing you the latest accessories you need if you're a homesteader. So, here we go. In case one of those rabbits that like to run around here show up, I'm ready for it. That's the most important part of homestead fashion. So now I'm ready to go mow the lawn. I'm gonna go get my mower. All right, I wish I'd have had some music playing or something. I need, <laughs> I needed some kind of music. But, uh, yeah, let me go get my stuff. I got to move the tractor out of the way so then I can get the Husqvarna out. I didn't think about that until today when I don't want to ride the tractor. I just want the Husqvarna. I've got to rearrange it now so the Husqvarna can be brought out without moving the tractor, I reckon. But, yeah, I mean, it's got a nice breeze out here. Good time to mow the grass. I'll be back.
Well, I hope you all enjoyed this demonstration of the proper attire for mowing grass. I wanted to do a bit with the push mower, but it died. I need a new push mower. Uh, I got to mess with this thing. But my problem is, the reason why I have to wear two, I don't have an extended mag with me. So, you know, to have the 30 rounds, I got to have two of them. You know, like I said, in case the rabbits attack. So this is my Glock. This is an FN. Uh, both of these are 9mm. That's a lot of mowing. A lot of weed eating. And this, I got part of it done. And this thing finally died. But I hope you had fun with this. hope you laugh at me. You see, I have no pride. I have no shame. You know, I was dared to do this. I don't have a bandana, that's the biggest problem, and I wasn't going to shave my head, but I'll do this on a dare, I don't care. <laughs> I think I did do, need to do a little bit of a walk around uh, and show you, remember that giant mess that used to stick out here? <laughs> a lot of it's gone, it's all clearing up. That's how much I've been able to get cleared. And still clearing, still working on it. And as we go back through here, now that I'm done mowing, my push mower's dead. I think it's time to buy another used one. I, mean, I paid $50 for that four or five years ago. But eventually, I'll get more back, and this will all start growing grass and just become much more yard. I still got this mess to clean up and get pulled down, but look how much I've gotten. Look how much is down now. And it can be controlled now because I'm out here so much. We did this once before, but... We were both working full time and overtime and between not getting time off and when we did get time off, it'd rain. But eventually we'll get it all back. I'm going to have to do the... Uh, rain catchment. I'm more than full. I'm so full it's coming out the top. <laughs> Holy crap. But yeah, I left that open. Left it loose so it can come out. Make sure I have no leaks. And now, we can take an extended walk after I get done. I couldn't do this before. Look at how much of this I got. I'm claiming all of this back again. And I've decided, I think one of the things I'm going to do over here, as I clear all that out back through there, and down that way some, I'm going to make like a camping area for guests. I'm going to build a picnic table for over there, fire ring. But I think tomorrow, I'm going to bring the Husqvarna down here and just give it a run around. Get this stuff growing again. Growing like grass. But yeah. Yeah, you can see the barn from down here now. You couldn't see that before. But look at how much more 
I'm going to wind up with as I keep going further and further back and just leave the trees, the big trees. Get all this underbrush out of here and those trees will look so nice. And I've seen here at St. Bernard Acres and out on the road on my way in, quite a few baby deers, you know, small, young deer. So, might be a good hunting season. But you see a lot more cleared up through here. And that's just, you know, practicing with the tractor and the brush hog. Wait till I get good at it. <laughs> but I finished my mowing and I showed you my new uh, homestead attire inspired by Prepper Nurse One. In case anybody was curious. <laughs> This is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres having some fun. I'm out, folks. <laughs>